Uh, so let's take a look at this uh, problem that has to do with light. It's a physics problem. So let's see how you can solve this one. The same diagram below shows a ray of light entering and leaving a glass block. Name the rays labeled A to D. So this one here is actually an incident ray. It's called an incident ray. Then this one here is a reflected ray. A reflected ray. Then this one here is a refracted, refracted ray. Then this one here is a an imagined ray. It's an imagined ray. So we are done with labeling and the rays. So now they're saying on the diagram, indicate I and R are for angles of incidence and refraction respectively. So what you do is you simply indicate the angle of incidence. So the angle of incidence is actually an angle between the normal and the incident ray. So this is the incident ray, and that is the normal. So this one is the angle of incidence. Then the angle of refraction is actually that angle which is in between the normal and uh, the refracted ray. So this one here is actually the refracted ray. Let's move on to see. For a certain piece of glass block, the angle of incidence was found to be 25 degrees. So uh, let me change the color of this. So the angle of incidence was found to be 25 degrees. And the angle of refraction was found to be, so I can actually write that, which is equal to 16 degrees. Now, using this information, calculate the refractive index. So you need to know, for you to find the refractive index, you need to make use of this formula. So refractive index is equal to the sine of incidence over the sine of the angle of refraction. Okay, so now, mostly learners make a mistake here. And I don't want you to make the same mistake when you're calculating the refractive index. Now, what you do is you bring in the angle of incidence and the angle of refraction. But as you write that, don't you just write that. What you need to do is you say sine. Now we can actually write the angle of incidence here, which is 25 degrees. And then we write sine angle of refraction. In most cases, learners forget sine and they forget sine at the bottom here. They just write 25, 16 or any other sizes of the angles that are given. Don't you forget. You have to punch the functions here. So now, what do you get when you punch sine, sine 25 and uh, divided by sine 16 degrees? So now what we're going to have is 1.5332. There are other digits, but I'll leave them out. So on an exam, make sure that you write an answer which is rounded off to two decimal places. So it will be 1.53. Now, what you need to know is a refractive index is a ratio, so it has no, no unit. So that's how you have to answer that one. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel.